So, hi guys. Welcome to my channel again. Oh, so, today I'm going to run through all the... Let me just adjust this again. Yep, there we go. That's better. So, you see this mess here? I've basically dug out every single one of my summer Louis Vuitton summer collection pieces here. I believe I've collected a piece from every single um, collection that came out in the summer from Louis Vuitton and it is my passion. Honestly, I, I love them. I love them very much. So without further ado, let's uh, get started on the video. So first up, I would like to introduce to you the 2019 Summer Collection. It's called the Monogram Giant Collection and I don't think there is anything else to it. Just that it was the first time they started playing very expressively with their, um, their patterns, the monogram and the fleur de lis. And honestly, I think they did a very fantastic job. And I completely fell in love with this item. It came out in wilder colors, um, I believe in the red, in the uh, bright purple and lime green. But honestly, I... I really love the khaki and until now I still think about the kirigami set from this collection as well but honestly these two pieces make me extremely happy now that this one is in my collection I feel like I'm you know my collection is complete for the 2019 collection next up I would like to show you the Escale collection now this one I fell in love with I believe I had just given birth to my third son and honestly, I love this ice cream pastel um, colorway and this beautiful um, lavender inside. I am using my on-the-go GM. <laughs> That's why a um, bag organizer from the, the classic reverse monogram and monogram print. Um, I've let go of that bag since for the S-Scale collection, I kind of went ballistic. I just bought the Neo no Way, I bought the Neverfull, I bought the Kirigami, as well as these two pieces, but um, in the end, I let the Kiri Kirigami go, I let the Neo no Way go, and um, finally, I let the Neverfull version go, but and I'm left with these two pieces. I My son loves this one, but honestly, I don't use this uh, very often at all. It is a very carefree piece. I feel like the leather is much softer and of a very high quality. Likewise, the leather for these straps as well are very comfortable and lightweight. Honestly, this was lighter than the classic on the go that I GM that I used to own. And I felt like this one was actually more useful. And I just love the blues in this piece. I'm not sure if it is showing. Let me show you the interior. So yeah, I've been debating on letting this piece go, or whether I should try to sell it. Um, I've kept it this quite new in condition, uh, Louis Vuitton Paris, but I did bring it to the swimming pool with me a few times. It was very suitable. It is a gorgeous bag, honestly, and I just love the way they've lined it up at the bottom. The SKL collection was really a very beautiful collection as well. And I love tie-dye. I know some people don't. They don't find it high fashion and they find it tacky, but I don't. I just feel like it's really fun. The so scale collection, this one was 2020. And in 2021, they did come out with another summer collection that I went bananas over. And this is the Buy the Pool collection in 2021. I got the Neverfull and the Speedy Bandelier in 25. You can tell that I don't use the Speedy Bandelier. Honestly, I think I've only used it twice. And I just can't bring myself to um, to darken and get the Vaketa leather dirty. I don't have the same fear for my Neverfull, so I've used it more, but you can tell that I have been, I have been pretty careful with it as well. I think there are some water stains, but honestly, they're not very obvious at all. Maybe it's because it's pre-treated. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I use a, bo a bag organizer from it and this is from my Damien Zer Neverfull MM size. So on top of that, I have also SLGs from this By The Pool collection. I couldn't resist getting the Zoe wallet. No, sorry. 
I think this is the Victorine wallet. As you can tell, this is definitely my favorite colorway, colorway in the Vitapool collection. At first, I was actually crazy about the broom. They call it broom, which means fog, I believe, in French. I can't be too sure. But broom was my favorite, and I believe as the Vaqueta leather darkens, this appearance is going to be a really nice, the honey colored. I've seen people with it. I know some people don't like the contrast, but Honestly, I own um, Demia Zur bags and I really don't mind it at all when the Vicata leather darkens. I think it's a different aesthetic. Um, yeah, so I'll just take my time using these bags, getting the Vicata to change color over time, appreciating every step of the way. Um, so I also got the Kirigami set. I use this the most. I definitely don't use the blue one, but I hate, I like having the full set, so I'm not gonna let go of it. And then there's this one that I don't use either because honestly, I have a lot of card holders right now. So if not for this, I would have let this Kirigami set go, but I actually really love the Louis Vuitton Kirigami, Kirigami um, collection. And I just feel like I need to have one set of it in my collection. And this is my favorite one so far. I still obsess about the 2019 giant monogram in the khaki colored but honestly these colors are just so beautiful so yeah by the pool is also one of my favorite collections honestly it's really hard to choose which one's my favorite so last but not least i have the sunrise pastel or pastel sunrise i'm not sure how um, people call it pastel sunrise sunrise um pastel sunrise collection and i practice so much restraint i only I actually ordered the Marshmallow and the Neverfull from this collection and only in the Sunrise Pastel because this collection had a pretty bold um, colorway with the Fuchsia, I think it's the Midnight Fuchsia, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen and um, that is just a color scheme that doesn't go with what my my wardrobe is like, I really that tend to veer towards the pastel colors and I got this in the Neverfull version and I quickly returned it because I realized that I think I've mentioned it in the unboxing video that the pink patch here kind of started bothering me and honestly I already have um I already I already have these two Neverfull limited editions and I felt like I, I really don't need another limited edition Neverfull MM in my collection and so I I definitely practice a lot of restraint for this collection. I love the Wapiti, but it didn't come to my country. I like SLGs, but I definitely think that bags are more... The bags get me very excited, so I definitely went ahead and got this new silhouette, which I am loving, and I've used it so many times. It's so convenient, and it's got this like very comfortable strap and a crossbody option as well. I did get an organizer from Samogar. It is made in France, so one thing I've noticed is that all these um, limited edition bags are made in France, and I have yet to tear off the protective stickers here. This doesn't come off, it rotates, but it doesn't come off. Um, yeah, and I must say that all the hardware that I have so far on these limited edition bags are holding up magnificently. Seriously, it it is just like nowhere compared to their classic Speedy, which tarnishes within the first two years like crazy. Um, the zippers are all really smooth. I've never had a problem. And I do feel in general that the limited edition bags are made with so much more care and thought. And also the canvas that they use is a lot thicker and more um, structured, I want to say. In all the bags that I've experienced, they hold up the shape really well and they don't um, crumple in on themselves and I would say that it's definitely worth the premium if you do like uh, the freshness and boldness of their limited editions. This this is Spring in the City, I think that's what it was called, um, the, the whole collection was called and this is the Pastel Sunrise and uh, that's it. I think that's all the, this is 2022. So I've had 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. So that's like four years of collecting Louis Vuitton, summer collections. And I am actually hoping that I don't like next year's because 
my closet seriously cannot take any more um, of this collecting and much as I try to use my bags as much as I can because I don't believe in them just sitting there pretty and not being used I'm definitely running into that happy problem where I do not use them enough and I want to start um, limiting and really practicing a huge amount of restraint and uh, control with um, what I acquire next um, so moving forward, I'm probably not going to buy as many bags and uh, we shall see where that leads us to but I'm really loving all my summer collections um, and that's it for today's video. I really had fun making this um, and I'll talk to you again. Bye!